Hi everybody, it's Andy from Andy's Travel Blog and I want to address a very tragic story that just took place last night. Uh, for those of you who missed it, uh, I'll post some links below to some uh, news sites that I think are, are telling the story very responsibly and very factually and not with a lot of hyperbole and kind of reactioning. Um, but the, the facts of the story boil down to this. There's a company in New York City called Liberty Helicopters uh, that does charter flights, uh, photography tours, uh, and they operate their own tours and they also, I, I guess, uh, are the outsourced vendor for a company called Nyon Air, uh, N-Y-O-N Air. And these helicopter tours are getting very, very famous and very popular very quickly uh, where they are taking people up in these doors off photo flights to get these epic, epic views of New York City uh, with their feet dangling out the doors and everything like that. It's, it's social media heaven, these photo flights. And you guys know me. I do aerial photography from helicopters pretty frequently. Uh, it's... I've probably been on 30 or 40 flights uh, with Epic Helicopters here in uh, Dallas, Texas. Well, the flight last night, 11 minutes after takeoff, uh, something started going wrong. The pilot made a mayday call uh, reporting engine failure, and the helicopter crashed into the East River, uh, which runs along the east side of the island of Manhattan. Um, and right around 7 p.m. around the sunset hour, uh, it quickly took on water and sank beneath the surface. So there were five passengers on board uh, alongside the pilot. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, five passengers perished and the, and the pilot, uh, a 33-year-old, survived. Uh, this, it's a, it's a tragic situation, uh, period. It hits a little close to home to me. Uh, two of the passengers on that helicopter were from Dallas, Texas. Um, and it's, it hits close to home. I knew people who knew one of the passengers. So it, it's a tough and terrible situation, and it's terrible whether I knew anybody involved or not. But I do want to address some things uh, and, and help us learn from this. Uh, most likely what, what impacted the ability of these passengers to get away or get out of the helicopter. Number one, the East River is very, very cold this time of year. Number two, it moves very quickly, uh, very strong currents. Uh, but the main thing that was holding these passengers back was these their five-point harnesses. Five-point harnesses are incredibly safe for something like a doors-off photo shoot when you're flying over New York City because obviously you do not want to fall out of the airplane, or sorry, out of the helicopter. So it's, it's very safe, but in this situation, the passengers were not able to let themselves out of these five-point harnesses very quickly, mainly because these five-point harnesses that they were secured to were connected at the rear. They were connected behind them to the helicopter. Uh, and so there were knives available, belt cutters available to get themselves out of these five-point harnesses. But combined with the shock of being in a crash, uh, and the quick taking on of water by this helicopter. I'm not gonna post the video here, but you can find it on social media if you're curious. I just don't wanna be disrespectful to anybody, or the family of anybody involved. Um, I, I don't think they had enough time uh, to get out. Um, obviously it was an accident, and, and by all means my thoughts and prayers go out to the families of those involved as well as the pilot. Uh, I cannot imagine the survivor guilt that will be felt by the pilot. Uh, and of course, we, you know, the, the full details will be found out by the National Air Traffic and Safety Board um, as soon as they can. Uh, but I just wanted to encourage you, always, if you're doing a helicopter tour, helicopters are very safe. I've flown in them tons of times. Helicopters are very safe, but whenever you're going on one of these tours, always make sure if you do not feel entirely comfortable both getting into and out of the aircraft very quickly, please put your hand up and talk to somebody there at the helicopter company. Make sure that you know exactly how to get in and out of the helicopter incredibly quickly. In Dallas, it's not as, I say it's not as big of a deal because we're usually flying over ground, but you still need to know how to get out of whatever place you're in very quickly. So I, I mean, I do it too, the uh, flight attendant's safety briefing on a flight. I've been on hundreds of flights. Thousands probably, I just kind of, it just kind of plays in my head. I don't really pay attention to it. But we all, as responsible travelers, we always need to know how to get out of a bad situation, okay? So these helicopter tours, I do not want to discourage you from taking one. I know it may seem scary after what happened, but, but these are very safe. Helicopters are incredibly safe, 
okay? I know it doesn't seem that way, but they really are. I just want to encourage you, instead of saying, I want a refund, I still want you to go on these tours. If you already have one booked, or if you're thinking about booking one, go ahead and book it. I mean, they're expensive, but go ahead and book it. Uh, you'll end up with incredible views if that's what you're really after, but just make sure that at any given point you are aware of if there's belt cutters on the plane, know where they are. Immediately practice grabbing one and pulling it close to you and practice doing it with your eyes closed because you may need to do that in an emergency situation. So I just, I had to comment about this um, because it's, it's a horrible situation and I just want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So. This is Andy from Andy's Travel Blog. Everybody take care, uh, and please keep the, uh, the families of the people who perished in the accident, as well as the uh, pilot and their family, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.